What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Slackers, bringing you our next episode, next matchup in the Everyone Is Here tournament. So if you are new uh, or just wondering what this is, I'm going to throw the rules up on screen and then uh, you can get the gist of it from there. But uh, real briefly, it's a tournament format of 100 characters. They're all in here. It's all for fun. Uh, I'll explain that in the rules. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's uh, let's throw the rules up on screen here real quick. All right. So here are the rules. Again, this is just for fun. Please always keep that in mind when uh, voting, when having a discussion in the comments. These are all for fun. So it doesn't matter uh, for this for this tournament specifically. If there's a spirit, if there's an assist trophy character that's in here, if there's a character that's disconfirmed. It doesn't matter, all right? None of it matter. We're here for fun, all right? We just want to, you know, show a little bit of support for a character that we would like to see in Smash Bros. Ultimate for DLC. Pretty simple. So, yeah. First rule, it's just for fun. Another important rule. You only get one vote per person. Uh, if you don't know what that means, um, or you, how, or you want to know how to vote, very simple to vote. You vote down in the comments by simply typing who your vote is for, for the matchup for the day. So, there's two characters... Uh, that are in the matchup for each day. I upload one matchup from the tournament each day, as long as there's a matchup. But uh, upload one of the matchups. I'll talk about the two characters, and then down in the comments, we vote for one of the two characters. So today's matchup, as you can see by the thumbnail or the title of the video, Phoenix Wright from the Ace Attorney series is taking on Springman. And again, Springman might be an assist trophy, might be a spirit, but guess what? For this tournament, it doesn't matter. If you like to see the character in Smash as a DLC playable character, you can still vote for him. Totally fine. But uh, the rest of the rules, uh, it's a double elimination tournament, meaning a character has to lose two times before being officially eliminated. If there's ever a tie, once we get to the results for each matchup, I'll flip a coin on camera. It's just the best and fairest way to break any tie. And then each matchup voting-wise only lasts for one week. So that means today's Monday. So next Monday, we'll get the results of today's matchup. So one seven-day period is when uh, the voting is open for every matchup. And then, yeah, and so on and so forth. But anyway, that's all the rules. So let's jump into the matchup for the day. All right. Oh, man. We, I got some good results today. This one was crazy. This was, wow. Um, all right. So the matchup from last Monday was Lana from Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Warriors, taking on Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I had to count this vote twice. Twice. I didn't believe it the first time. I didn't believe it. But I counted twice, double checked, got the same result both times. <sighs> I'm still baffled. Lana defeated Sora. Let that sink in for a second. Lana defeated Sora. She won 71 votes to 69 votes. It was extremely close. Extremely close. So I'm very surprised about that. I really thought Sora was going to win this, but he didn't. So congrats to Lana moving on to the next round. She'll end up facing Funky Kong, but that'll be, uh, you know, her next matchup will be, I don't know, a couple weeks down the line. But yeah, so that means Sora drops to the loser bracket. So let's real quick, I just want to take a look at the loser bracket. I want to see what matches are starting to get set up down here. All right. So, all right. So Sora gets the loser 60. All right. So we don't know what that yet. And never mind. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's just get to the matchup for the day. Matchup. Game number 13 in this tournament, we have Phoenix Wright from the Ace Attorney series, pretty popular series, taking on Springman from the Arms series. So we got first party against third party today. We have not represented versus represented a couple times in Smash. So uh, let's talk about this, right? Phoenix Wright, pretty interesting character. Uh, he's a lawyer. All right, so first and foremost, a lot of people go, lawyer, they don't really have a fighting style. Well, kind of, kind of he does. And Phoenix Wright is a pretty big name in the Capcom overall universe. He's been in Cap Marvel vs. Capcom fighting games, been in those games. He has, uh, he's, he's also a name that gets thrown around for Smash speculation all the time. Uh, maybe not quite... In like the upper echelon of characters, but his name definitely gets thrown around. People would love to see this guy. So, ow, <laughs> hit my foot. Um, move set wise, how would he work? Uh, I mean, you can kind of go quite a bit of different ways. So a little bit of a background again. He's a lawyer, so you could do lawyer-ish type things. Uh, he could actually like shout words. Again, it might seem a little 
<laughs> it might seem goofy, but look, just shouting like the word objection could be, I guess, kind of like a little bit of a projectile, like a sound wave sort of attack. So um, that'd be kind of funny to see. Uh, lawyers carry briefcases. So you got that. You can whack people with a briefcase. I don't know. You could even throw briefcase at somebody. Uh, I, th- I believe in the Marvel versus Capcom series, one of his moves involves throwing papers at people. So I thought of something that would be kind of interesting where you throw the briefcase, it hits them, but then the briefcase opens up. And now you have like these, it could be like a stack of papers. And sure, they could be stapled together. All right, so they don't go flying everywhere. But you got like a little stack of papers that would then become its own little projectile, which you could pick up and then throw it at somebody as well for a little bit of more damage or something like that. Could even use it for like a tripping hazard, I suppose. You know, walking on a bunch of papers and, oh, God, trip, fall. We know what that does. Yeah, we all love tripping, right? But, I mean, like, uh, plus he's also a a poker champion. So you can definitely do something with uh, poker chips, playing cards, uh, poker table, potentially. Flip flip a table on something. I don't know. Anyway, there's, I don't know. You could do an an interesting moveset, something that uh, is kind of, different this one i thought was funny a move called a chew basically he sneezes on you i i suppose i mean it it fits the character he's done it in games before so maybe maybe uh might be a little bit of gross having somebody sneeze on you like get off me bro but i don't know uh he's a very cool character um personally He's not a character I want or that... Okay, I wouldn't be... I would have no objection to him. Ha! <laughs> Puns. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I definitely wouldn't have any objection to this character, though. Uh, because I think he's just unique enough to be somewhat of a different feel of a character that we don't really quite have in Smash Bros. So, I'd be okay with it. Um, I mean, let's see. Courtroom. Obviously, any courtroom would be perfect for, like, a stage Obviously, lawyer. <laughs> Maybe just have like a, a judge or something in the background and bangs his gavel down or I, I, I don't know. Something. Something like that. But uh, easy to come up with for moveset because, again, he is in a fighting game series, Marvel vs. Capcom. So you got moves that you can take inspiration from from there. And then it's just a character people don't know the names of. So, it, yeah. I, I don't know. Plus, Cap- well, the whole thing that uh, a lot of people are expecting Capcom to get another rep. Um, I think they could. There's a lot of good potential there. Definitely a lot of good potential. But is Capcom or uh, would Capcom pick Phoenix Wright over, you know, other franchises that they have? It's it's hard to say. I'm sure Capcom, I'm sure if Nintendo approaches Capcom and says, all right, we want, uh, want another character. I'm sure Capcom would be like, all right, we ha- we would like to see character A, B, or C. And ma- and then, you know, they would have their own agenda for characters they might want to put out there into the public eye. I mean, look, it's Smash Bros, right? Lots and lots of eyes are on Smash Bros. So a new character from, you know, just, well, anywhere in general is just good for, well, publicity for whatever series, whatever company that might be. So Phoenix Wright could be an interesting pick. Another interesting pick, though, maybe uh, a bit of a reach. Springman, Springman punches. Uh, you know, you got the whole arms. Yeah, the whole arms deal. Interesting because look, Springman was uh, one of the characters. Okay, first first party character. Easy. Nintendo gets all the profits to themselves. Pretty simple. I mean, assist trophy promotion. That's uh, that's a topic that's debated amongst uh, the Smash community. Some people are absolutely against the idea and say it will never, ever, 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 ever happen within the same game. And then there's some people that might be a little bit more open-minded and say, hey, you never know. It could happen, maybe. But Springman would be an interesting pick. Uh, just due to... He's a newer face for Nintendo. He's one of Nintendo's newest... Was that Lightning? Uh, was that... Uh, it's one of Nintendo's newest franchises, which sold, I believe, over 2 million copies. That is phenomenal for a brand new franchise. Brand new franchise. So many people getting involved with it. I know the fan base, from what I remember and just hearing, the game online kind of died off pretty quickly, but there's still a very dedicated fan base behind it. Plus, lots of people can recognize the character, after all. It isn't Smash, so you have an idea of what the character looks like. You'd have an idea of what the character's moveset could be. Obviously, it revolve around lots of punching, so it'd be kind of interesting. 
uh, the the spring the ar- spring arms the I guess the arm mechanic for punches. So you could do maybe even more damage for like the longer the reach is. So if you're if you're up close, so it's like a melee type fighter with a long range game. So the longer the range, maybe the longer his arms get extended. Uh, and if you happen to connect the attack, it does more damage. So if you're up close and it's just like a little jab, you know, it's not going to do too much, but it'll do something, right? Um, plus you could do just some awesome weird sort of bendy around stuff. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of how you could, uh, oh, let's go pit. Pit's neutral special, uh, is arrow, how you can kind of control it. Maybe for spring man. You could kind of control the arms how they go. You know, they're not going to extend the whole length of the stage by any means. That's just a dumb idea. But what if you could do that for his neutral special? You could kind of, you know, you punch and then you hold up and the arms start going upwards or something like that. And whatever the reach happens to be, um, that have to be set and made up later. But whatever the reach is, you can end up just kind of, I don't know. It'd be kind of fun. Plus, like, if your opponent is, like, say, up above you. You know, on a platform above you, and you just like punch out straight, and then poop, catch them from underneath. Be kind of interesting to see that happen. Um, the uh, what? What's the? Uh, uh, there's a there's a mask. Oh man, I I always remember this, but I can't think of it. Headlock scramble, headlock mask, headlock scramble challenge thing. Anyway, basically, it's like a mask, and this is perfect for a final smash. You put the you put the mask on, you put the head on, whatever it is. And basically you get like a bunch of arms and it's just a rapid fire. It'd be a little cinematic sort of cutscene. You puts it on and just starts wailing away on him. Perfect for an arm drip for a final smash. Makes a ton of sense. Uh, I could, I mean, it's from the game. It just, it works, right? Definitely works. Um, I like the character a lot. Uh, he's definitely on my list of characters I was expecting to be in Smash Bros. Before we got the whole detail about our development cycles didn't, you know, Smash was a little bit ahead of ARMS, so ARMS was a bit too new to have any consideration for playable character status. So, I think he's probably a a good likely candidate for the next game, especially if there happens to be a second ARMS, which I think there will be. I mean, the game sold very well. People are people still kind of talk about the franchise here and there. Plus, there's some very memorable characters. Not just Spring Man. I mean, you got Ribbon Girl, who's also in this tournament. Had a matchup, uh, was it two weeks ago? I think two weeks ago uh she ended up winning that if i remember correctly yeah i think she won her matchup but uh you got twin tail you got min min ninjara you got some pretty fun characters max brass there's some fun characters that you could play around with and i don't know if you could end up having like a palette swap so different character you could do like four spring mans for a character and then four ribbon girls for alternate skins that'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool they're pretty much the same sort of hitbox and for the most part i think um but Fun character, fun move set. I, I yeah, I, I think I'd like it. I would, um, but yeah, for this vote, I, I'm just, <laughs> I, lo- I, lo- I guess I just like arms better than I do Ace Attorney. So Springman's gonna get my vote in this one. Pretty simple. That's how that works. That's how that works. So that is gonna be it for this one. Let me know who you guys are voting for down in the comments. Remember, it's just for fun. All right. I was having a conversation with somebody that was like, these characters shouldn't be in the tournament because like. It's a tournament that I made up and wanted your guys' suggestions. A lot of people put some of these characters down. And it's like, look, a lot of people get it's for fun. (laughs) That's really what this is. So I don't want to go on about that too much. Anyway, that is it. Little sneak peek for Tuesday's video. Let's see. We'll get the matchup of... Ooh. Ooh, this will be fun. Jill Valentine from Resident Evil. Leon was in the tournament earlier. He already lost. So let's see if uh, a Resident Evil rep can... Get a win in the first round, at least. But Jill's taking on Pauline, who recently got put into Mario Kart Tour, the mobile game. We'll talk about that a little tomorrow. But that should be a fun matchup tomorrow. And then we'll get the results of matchup number eight, correct? Yes, matchup number eight. Louie from Pikmin taking on King Boo from Mario Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, that should be fun to see. So uh, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.